Getting a little active out there tonight. It was a dark and stormy night to finish spring break weekend across the valley. It's a little stormy out there. Nothing too crazy going on, but a, a little broken line of showers and some weak thunder showers moving through the area. None of this severe or expected to be severe. It's very weak, but you can see the radar sweep going by and the data updating. But a couple of lightning strikes here and there are coming through, but nothing really widespread. So uh, pretty much uh, you can just get to sit at home and watch the rain for a couple hours go through a little burst of some heavier showers just passing through San Perlita and a couple of lightning strikes once in a while around Raymondville and Willsey County. We head a little bit farther to the south, though, and you can see this line of showers and thunderstorms coming through again. Very weak. I don't really call them storms. They're not like you know, big storms, uh, just weak thunder showers we call them. But the front edge of the line, if we extend it out, is moving at about 18 or 20 miles per hour or so. So draw that line from the front edge of the rain kind of eastward and you get uh, arrival times of the rain about 1035 in Westlaco, closer to 1130 or so in Harlingen and around 1230 or so in Laureles and closer to about 115 in Los Fresnos and the rain, if it holds together, may actually get to Brownsville by uh, closer to about 2 a.m. So you have a little bit of time in Cameron County to get indoors from your nightly activities. Showers and some wheat storms in the area tonight, a cool and wet weekend, not raining nonstop, but like today, little waves of showers may develop or a wheat thunder shower, but mostly just ordinary rain showers this weekend and staying cool. We may not get above 60 degrees in some areas tomorrow may have trouble even doing that Sunday or possibly even Monday in some areas right now, though, it's in the upper 50s in the lower valley, 59 in Harlingen, 53 in Edinburgh and McAllen, where it's cooled a little bit from the rain in the upper valley, but uh, still a cool night out there and wind speeds have really decreased about five to 10 miles per hour, a little bit more in spots, but not the strong winds like we've seen a couple days ago, even at the coast is calming down a bit. You can see the showers blowing up a little bit of disturbance rolling on through the valley. And once this clears the area, it will probably be fairly quiet the rest of the night, but some lighter rain showers may pop up at times during the day on Saturday. But you have this little wave of showers and wheat storms coming through tonight, which extends all the way back down in the mountains of Mexico. Uh, the bigger rain showers off to our east are staying out there to our east and getting pushed away. But all the clouds will stick around this weekend and really keep temperatures cool. So your day planner tomorrow, we don't warm up much. Cloudy skies starts near 50 degrees at 8 a.m. Maybe a sprinkle or shower in the morning, then a few showers off and on in the valley during the day near 54 at noon. And by later in the day, still in the 50s in many areas and still more clouds and maybe a few showers and future track overnight again picks up on that rain moving through overnight toward morning, but staying cool and cloudy uh, across the valley. And then tomorrow, you notice the map has it dry at noon. It might not be dry everywhere, but most of the time it's probably going to be dry tomorrow. Showers will be here and there through the day and may help keep the temperatures uh, pretty far down. And then even into the day on Sunday, more showers are possible. And this is true also on Monday, more showers and clouds keeping temperatures down. So 70% chance for rain overall Saturday and near that Sunday and Monday. But again, not rain all day and overall rainfall amounts probably looking at uh, less than an inch probably less than a half an inch in most areas at the coast. If you're spring breaking near 60 degrees Saturday and Sunday with still a breezy condition at the coast tomorrow. If you are traveling Laredo dry and cloudy 60s on Saturday and Sunday Corpus Christi mainly dry 50s on Saturday 60s on Sunday San Antonio dry and mostly cloudy and in the 60s this weekend in Houston mainly in the 60s as well. So you can get out of the rain if you're heading north of the valley. First one five AccuWeather seven day forecast a cool weekend to finish spring break highs mostly in the upper 50s and lower 60s through the weekend. Lows dip down closer to 50 showers off and on through the weekend. By Tuesday, we're still holding on to more clouds and maybe a little rain after that. I think the clouds will still be there, but kind of breaking up gradually and highs back in the 70s and smaller chances of showers to start spring. Joel.